Hello, my name is John Geldman. I am the director of SSD industry standards for Keoxia and an NVM Express board member. Today, I'll be discussing how the NVMe over PCIe transport specification fits into the NVM Express 2.0 family of specifications and how the specification refactoring has made it easier for NVM Express to stay compatible with the ongoing improvements of PCI Express. Let me provide an overview of the NVMe over PCIe transport specification and why a company would want to utilize the specification. PCI Express was the first transport supported by NVM Express, and it is currently the most common type of NVMe subsystem. The NVMe 2.0 family of specifications now includes the NVMe over PCIe transport specification. This new specification collected the existing requirements on a PCI Express implementation for NVMe subsystems, and this allows the NVM base specification to be transport agnostic. Other than the reorganization, there were no functional changes that will affect the required PCI behaviors for subsystems. It's all just found in one place. I'd like to share how reorganizing the PCIe NVMe specification into a separate specification was helpful. To answer that, I have to go back a little bit in history. The revision 1.0 NVMe base implicitly included PCIe transport technology as part of the NVMe model. Revision 1.2.1 of the NVMe E base added the NVMe over fabrics transport and PCIe was no longer the only transport in town. Also at the time of creation, the NVMe 1.0 specification was written to match the PCIe revision three requirements. Those two starting points left side effects in the document. The first being there was an assumption that everything in NVMe Express was related to PCI technology, and we've been working to correct that where it shows up in the document ever since. There was also the issue of not accounting for the continuous evolution of the PCI specification. In the initial NVMe specification, there were some required values that were correct for the PCIe revision three specification, which changed in later PCIe revisions. Now, NVMe Express had already made those changes in ratified technical proposals, so the refactoring didn't have to change any functionality. What the refactoring did accomplish was to make it easier to allow for the changes related in future PCI evolution to be found in one place. Let me explain how reorganizing the PCIe transport into an individual specification will enable further development both in NVMe and in PCIe. By combining content from the old NVMe base and NVMe over fabric specifications into the new NVMe base, we've realigned the two models to ensure that they continue to evolve along a similar common architecture. In both the NVMe 2.0 base specification and the NVMe over PCIe 1.0 transport specification, the refactoring effort added new explanatory theories of operation to better maintain one PCI express mechanism, clarifying the common behaviors of both transports. Separating out the NVMe architecture from the PCIe architecture allowed us to ensure that the NVMe technology will always work with the evolving PCIe architecture and the requirements are clear for developers. Separating out the NVMe over PCI requirements into a distinct specification ensures that both organizations can continue to grow and evolve their specifications. NVMe technology is really complemented by PCIe bus transport technology and vice versa. NVM Express has benefited from utilizing the PCI Express interface. The low latency, scalability, and high bandwidth of PCI Express matches the original vision of NVM Express. 
NVMe technology has benefited from the constant bandwidth and functional improvements in the PCI Express interface. As an example, as PCI Express has doubled its performance capabilities with every major release, allowing PCIe-based NVMe subsystems to seamlessly match these improvements. From its inception, NVMe technology has enabled storage performance over PCIe, complementing the PCIe architecture by providing a more efficient protocol than previous storage protocols, enabling lower latency storage devices with scalable bandwidth. NVMe is not limited to SSDs, but it perfectly enables NVMe-based SSD scalability. A common question is about key use cases for the NVMe PCI specification in the cloud enterprise or client markets. It turns out the NVMe over PCI implementations have been incredibly popular among developers and a major component in improving the functionality in all of cloud, enterprise, and client markets. Legacy storage protocols were latency limited and capped on their performance. NVMe over PCIe technology has become the industry standard because it allows users to efficiently access and process data with higher quality of service and with high read and write IOPS performance. This is useful for a wide range of workloads. NVMe technology has been leveraging the recent PCIe specifications. Widely available NVMe technology leverages the PCIe 4.0 specification. Bandwidth is doubled and is beginning to shift to PCIe 5.0 architecture. Some of those devices are available today. As 6.0 starts to become more popular in the industry, NVMe will continue to leverage PCIe advances. The best way to learn more about NVMe technology is to visit the NVMe Express website to learn more about how the NVMe architecture works with the PCIe architecture and also to download the latest set of specifications. <music>